excuse me. As, excuse, oh, Abai, Abai, excuse me. You see, I, I, I want to attend a funeral management meeting at Kade, of course, in the national interest. But people are saying I will need national security escorts. Now, that sends panic signals for the records. I don't believe them. But I hear these days, I hear some so-called national security operatives have become dispensers of insecurity on a national level. When I'm not what it is, Apostle Trump, bah, say ho, say ho. But the bah, from behind, bah, say. In this modern Ghana, publishing an opinion piece authored by someone else, Keke Krano, <laughs> Zagadat. You know what? Ghanaians can talk. You say parliamentarians absent themselves from the chamber too much. Now they drive against traffic so they can get to work early. As apparently, the nation is more interested in their work than ours. That one too. You say you won't understand. You keep saying they should wake up from their slumber. Now they say they want a new chamber in order to wake up from their partisan slumber. That one too. You say drop that chamber tense. And they're even saying parliament should do double track if they, if they find a place to smoke. Oh, oh, my guy. Anyway, all this drama is not all Ghana is really. I will show you what Ghana truly is from the This is Ghana exhibition, okay? Now, if our leaders won't give us reasons to be proud, some young Ghanaian citizens, entrepreneurs, will. And City TV and City FM will give them the mileage they deserve. Really, really. That's no cost. Meantime, this is Backpage. I am Caleb Kuda. And this is your favorite moment on TV. Welcome back to Backpage. First of all, I have a concern. My friend was watching this show some time ago with her dad. And the father was like, oh, City TV people, they are forcing on. See how they have given this young chap the opportunity to, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then my friend said, yeah, that's Caleb. I have known him since high school. Her father said, na lie. Unbelievable. It's not true. She says, try it as she did. Her father never believed her. Only last weekend, I hanged out with a friend whose kid sister, while watching Backpage with her, would never believe that we have been friends before. I mean, so the disclaimer here is that all those who claim me, those who claim to know me, you know, please, it is true. Finish. I know them. We've been friends. When we're hustling, you were not there. Now to business, right? Many of you may have seen my bromance, bromance, with a Kade MP, Kade people. Hey, <laughs> about Kade. You have given us a national asset. This is our nation, and the nation's interest is paramount. Let me record everything. I am prepared to defend it everywhere. Because the nation's interest is paramount. So sometimes you should give us concessions to go and do the national assignment. I have always followed the king. But for today, I have to be in parliament by 8 o'clock. No, well, some people say the concessions we give you all the time has been abused but, over... No, and but because... Of, and, that is, and, and that is why I am showing you my card and saying that give me the concession. I am the right person. No, because the argument is that you MPs and big men have been abusing this concession. Uh -huh. What do you mean by abuse? Uh -huh. What do you mean by abuse? What do you mean by abuse? Oh, please, don't be doing that, please. Come. come. What do you mean by abuse? So that's the Proceed notion out there. What is the notion? On, on, on what is the abuse? Please, 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 please. please. Is, am I, what have I abused? Please, I am saying that I have an urgent thing to do in the national interest. Please. It looks like everybody has an urgent thing to do in national interest. Who, who has it again? All the other drivers. Who, all the other drivers. Higher than a parliamentarian. Well, it, it, go, can you say this in the Congress of U.S.? Mwansuna, Mwansuna, says here. See, I think, I'm on the screen, look at you. No, I'm say, parliamentarians are supposed to be in the house by 8 o'clock. No, say, you are the same people who come. He is not even going anywhere. 
To every rule, there is an exception. Or no, no, your police, you know. Or no, no, your police, you know. Give me your details. I can go to the IGP and I will get, drive you there. This is a national interest. I'm not for myself. So you and if you like, if you like, by eight o'clock, go there and ask whether I'm not there. Fill me well. Fill me well. Because I'm serving the national interest. And to every rule, look at the national interest. Because you people have the uniform. We bought the uniform for you. The man said, uniform, no cry. See, take your something. We will enforce the law. It's not as if uh, 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 those V8s that we give you loans and other distance to go and be driving around. No, It's not as if uh, your taxes. Anyway. anyway, so my, th there has been a lot of comments on social media. So many on social media reacting to... Um, my new friend, uh, the MP for Kade, Honorable, uh, hi to you, sir. But um, there's a comment that came through, and I just want to read parts so that you and I educate ourselves on the regulations as far as the use of sirens are concerned. Lawyer for Mubro, for you, I'm in Papa, but um, this part, it says, uh, a motor vehicle used as an ambulance by a hospital or clinic. These are the sort of cars you can use with sirens and those kind of drivings we saw over there. Okay. So, despite... My video. So, a government vehicle used for official purposes by the head of state. This is what you can use for that kind of thing. Right? A police vehicle. A motor vehicle used by the fire service. A motor vehicle uh, used as an ambulance by a hospital or clinic. A motor vehicle used by other recognized government security agencies and a bullion vehicle registered by the licensing authority. A person who contravenes this regulation commits an offense and is liable on summary conviction to a fine of not more uh, than 25 penalty units or to a term of imprisonment of not more than 30 days or to both. Now, this friend of mine, this lawyer friend of my counsel, who says this ends the thing by saying, next time, confront them with the law and let's see how um, you use some S-T-U-P-I something they can look on camera. I'm not sure what he was trying to say that one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So if you're an MP and you have those lights on your car, because you're an MP, that doesn't mean you, you can't use those things. And you can't use the sirens. If you're a boss, boss or deputy, you can't, you can't use it. So when the police arrest you and you tell us that even the uniform, you gave it to them and all those kind of things. And when we catch you on the road. Now, <laughs> the controller, what do you say? Is it controller general or something? Excuse me. <laughs> we saw this big man. Apparently, when they arrested him, he couldn't talk again. Talk himself became a problem. Look at him. So who gave that authority for you to fix that light on the vehicle? No, it's the official vehicle. From where? I'm the controller. Now. I'm where? The controller. Now. Controller. What? Controller. But controller accountant, are you supposed to use that? No, it's the light that I'm saying who authorized. It's not about authorized. It's about respecting traffic rules and traffic regulations. So your driver has offended the traffic rules and traffic sorry, regulations. Sorry, sorry. We are processing him before the law court. So give us time to process him. And when we are through with the process, we will allow you to go. We are, excuse me, excuse me. We are going for EMT. So please, meeting. yes, so, yes, just comply with the processes and procedures. After that, it will take about some five minutes to go and move before the law court. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, that. Why are you doing this to us? The kids will be watching. Anyway, so that, that, that was a V8 vehicle. He also had those lights and he was driving on the shoulder of the road while traffic had built up. He was driving against traffic and it was speeding. Can you imagine? Yeah. So, yeah, we're told that about 14 of them have been to court, including the driver of the MP. 
And in this case, they've been fined about, um, there you're saying, 960 Ghana cities. That's what I'm told. I'll be telling you the rest of the details soon, but that's about it. The law is working regardless who you are. Actually, uh, more powerful men were arrested, except that some of them showed that even when you are arrested, you can be a gentleman. I'm Kenel Acha, and I'm rushing into a court case right now. I spoke to the officer in the middle. No, but you don't have to. I know, I know. No, no, you were there. It was very dangerous. No, Otherwise, no, no, no. you could have got to yourself. Supu, Supu, is, is the situation. I'm just tied up. I can't do otherwise. But it's better for you to follow traffic rather than for you to drive a car. I agree, I agree. Don't accident, let us. Accident, please, please. If you get an accident, please. please, 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 please. If the scandal is chasing your sister anyway. But others were being weak. But meekness before the law is of no excuse me. Excuse me. It's not intentional, but I'm very sorry. But I'm very sorry. It's not intentional. I'm very sorry. But that is why I stopped you. When you stopped, I stopped you. Because that's something. I'm very sorry. But, but it appears Messi says no. Did you hear the guy? I what's up? What's up, Charlie? One man's crucifixion is another man's resurrection. Oh. Hmm. But if <laughs> this particular man, if you were an ever, he would have said, Me, 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 me. No, no, what you know? I, I, I've been in a queue. Look, the lady following me. That, that lady, uh, that uh, brown car. She asked her. I've never, me, 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 me. The, until the legal bypass exercise, no, the deputy boss MD was the man reigning. As them arrest him, if they call a clue, a clue. After they call, no, police say, you are under arrest. Come and see. As them say, as them see, say, as <laughs> deputy boss MD, he bust my brain. Mr. Clue. Hello, Mr. Clue. This uh, DMD boss, the, the deputy managing director boss. May you not put up a we fix security clearance now. May you not put up a battle. If you ever do police or bullet, you obey. Then you may entitle my use New York Tower Park in your home. So you are under arrest. I'm coming. He said he's listen to, to me. Listen Allow to me. To next first, my brother. Oh. Ah. <laughs> so actually, actually, he pleaded to be left off the hook with the excuse that he has the donations to a funeral he was attending, and then he also said that uh, uh, uncle he that he had security clearance from Brian Etapo. He should call Brian Etapo. He call call call. Never no pick that thing. So. Um, that was that was that was what his that was what happened in his case. Uh, there were about 29 people who were arrested on Dowenya. He's one of them. He has paid his fine of about uh, 720 Ghana cities. So later I'll tell you how many how much we have accrued for the state in this exercise. But 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 one of the drivers at Dowenya he blew my mind. Look, so you don't know why you're arrested. I, yeah, I don't know because I was having the goose. I was taking the goose to site, but he told me to enter. I did not pass the shoulders of the road. Uh -huh. But when I came, what the policeman was saying that my car is not is not uh, in. Uh, I don't know how to put it. It's not looking nice or it's very bad. <laughs> no, but um, when we met in court at Tema, right, uh, there was this Evelma who said that uh, his uh, mother-in-law is, is a, a coup. He said, just a no, no. And uh, 720 girls, he didn't find they slapped on him, no. Uh, already, that is his two weeks sales. And already he has funeral to do. So today, yeah, I'll call back in, you know, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, that is um, how the war against the discipline campaign has been uh, faring in terms of the fines. So far, about 105 
8,560 Ghana cities has accrued to the state um, from our independent figures. This is not, this is conservative, all right? From what just came through from the Legon Bypass Road, we are seeing an amount of um, 13,440 Ghana cities. This includes that of the MP, uh, the MP's driver for Kade. He was also fined. But the thing is that at um, the Abeka Motor Court, where they were taken to, 14 of them were taken to, they were slapped with fines of 960 Ghana cities. You would observe that it's been between 600, 720, now it's 100, 960. That's a lot. This can change your life. It can change a lot in your life. So why rush? Why? I mean, think of us. Anyway, Let's move on to modern Ghana in these modern Ghanaian times, right? Ghanaians are lucky to have a human rights president. He's well acclaimed you know, human rights, the Ghanaian people's president. But I was walking the streets of somewhere in Accra and someone was saying we should change that accolade to human rights. I was like, wait, are you saying he helps humans to rise? They said, no, there's a difference between rise and rise. So what does that mean? They say, ah, well, when you talk about the men around him, his appointees, or he himself, his boys, they will use you for one more, they will beat you. Where, where? Look at this. Listeners, a really harrowing experience from a, a colleague journalist, Emmanuel Ajafo Abugri, who's demonstrating for us when we're filming it right now. Okay. So, so his arms are on the ground, so hands this? are on the ground, yes, and then his legs are up against the wall. This is how they made me do it, this way. Wow. This is it, exactly. For, for how long? I did this till the point I could no more do. Then, and then, you see my back? Yes. They hit and I fell like this. They hit your back and you fell? Yeah. Wow. Then he told me to do press up and stand up, so I had to do press up like this. And so I did the press up to a point I couldn't do that, I fell like this, and I said, boss, I'm weak. Sorry, my brother. Apparently, apparently, I heard on some of the um, local language speaking stations that Mr. Ajafo's, um, uh, well, his distance was affected because uh, they said that the national security people used something to do his distance. Let's listen to him. So, so they didn't what, what happened is what you've described. Yes, they didn't electrocute me. They didn't. they didn't use the taser on my penis to be frank. They didn't do that. that. I don't want to lie. Anyway, <laughs> I mean, this is a serious matter. You can't be laughing. I mean, th this was a good PR, you know, to allay the fears of. Uh, <laughs> uh, he was beaten there. He was beaten, but we were not there. Uh, <laughs> don't try. But then we are learning that the court has charged him with conspiracy to commit crime stealing and something like data data theft uh, yeah and, and and things like that what has baffled many is that he says he only published a story that was sent to him by some lady and i'm like what story at all could like get the man and his people allegedly so incensed that they will send their boys to go and put him through all the maltreatment that we've had have gone through because already okay some people don't know kandapa right this is what people have been saying about um, the man, especially after his appearance at the Emission Commission or Enquiry. But, uh, there is no form of serious leadership in the security setup in this country. And you see, security is not about press releases or about statements. Why you just make them and you expect that things will happen? After security, we feel it's like the economy. Mm. There's one, there's no leadership in this country when it comes to security. Mm. I believe that one of the been in the president's gov uh, government or his uh, uh, his his his, That's his a very serious statement. His intentions for the, there's for no the country when it comes to security. In the yes, country. it's the president's failure, president's big failure to reconsider and restructure the security setup. I'm saying that Kandapa has no business being national security minister. Apiatu even has no business still being IGP. I believe strongly. I believe that Mutai too has filled us big time. So that, the, the, exactly what I'm saying, uh, people have already expressed their displeasure at what they say is the competence in reverse order of Ghana's security couples. So the article now over which we are seeing all this buhaha, where did they even go? I, I've been struggling to find the article. What was it about? 
address the security issues, go and find the kidnapped girls. Nejai, you know, and then you hear you are not song. Welcome back, everybody. This is Backpage on City TV. I am Caleb Kuda. And like you know, we are dealing with pertinent issues of national interest. Excuse me. I may not be looking very serious, but now Parliament has come out with uh, this move. Apparently, it's not new entirely. I watched a video where John Mahama had talked about efforts, uh, feasibility studies being carried out for that. But we are learning that not more than 200 million US dollars is uh, uh, what we will need to, you know, bring to fruition some artworks put together by Ghana, said David. I don't even know. But the majority uh, leader and the speaker of Minister for Parliamentary Affairs, Sai Chairman Sabozu, and the MP in charge of uh, Swami, he has been speaking. The number again got increased to 230. And they needed to expand the interior. Um, now 275. When they came to increase the seats to 275, it exposed the columns in the chamber. Now, many members are sitting beside the, co the columns, the pillars, some behind, such that they are not able to attract the eye of the speaker. Anyway, wait to be your own. Are you in parliament? The, 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 the truth is that uh, the majority leader, the brother the head dead. He's the one who popularized whimsical and capricious. He's trying to near Tienpa. He's a man full of wisdom. This time around, so basically, the speaker says, no, the majority leader says that uh, sometimes, you know, parliament has become small. When you stretch your body, you are now your elbow has gone. That's kind of thing. Like, when you're even talking, the distance between the majority leader and the minority is so short that no one will never look but that she's small. You can't blow fuse on the other person. I mean, this is so ridiculous. They also say that, uh, what is it? When they are going to do state of the nation address, there's no place for Papa J to come and sit down. We have always seen Papa J and uh, Chen Chen. The former Accra mayor. They've always exchanged pleasantries nice, nice in Parliament. So that's why you are saying, I don't even understand. There was also a claim that um, last time one of the chief justices, somebody stepped on the MOOC and, 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 and quiet And that when there is fire outbreak in the house, people will know where to run and pass. Is uh, the most And uh, And people are saying that 200 million, we can do so much with it. Others are saying, look, you see, Right now that they said they will build a thing, allow them to build it. Otherwise, people will chop the money and we don't know where the money has passed. So as for the parliament thing, people are saying it's not a priority. It's not what we want. In fact, even parliamentarians have been speaking against it. Parliamentarians in the majority. Uh, dignitaries, former presidents, they join us when we are having deliberations. And at no point, have I seen all the 275 MPs occupying all the seats in the House, except on uh, Inauguration Day? So I don't think that it is an urgent or it's a priority pro project for us to undertake now. I think, uh, first things first, yes, going into the future, we can think about it, but the timing is wrong. We have other pressing things to discuss. You know, strangely, when it comes to issues that will, um, you know, give extra comfort, extra unnecessary comfort to parliamentarians, they all seem to speak the same thing. Just recently, they were saying we should increase their ex gratia. Agba, they want a brand new BD. I do serve on the current uh, parliamentary service board and the matter was discussed at the level of the board to discuss the principle of a new chamber and to subject it to value for money and procurement processes that in my view remain inconclusive and therefore wherever anybody gets this figure 
of 200 million for me is also worrying. Yeah, so I mean, if the speaker, uh, if some MPs can't catch the eye of the speaker, maybe we should change the glasses of the speaker, or the speaker deserves a rest that is long overdue, you understand? Because every day when he's driven against traffic, hey, Hacho, he's always driven on the other side. When traffic is here, he's driving. Speaker, oh. <laughs> so that Joe Ice is doing a good job. If you know, like, you can't always get any. Speaker deserves some rest. And you write books at 10, 7, years and, you know, inspire more young people. But, yeah, that's, that's, that's for them. Parliament's conversation. There are some people who are saying, look, drop that chamber something now. We cannot continue borrowing for the most mundane things. You think building a parliament chamber is mundane? I think it's mundane, at, you know, considering the kind of... Have you seen the UK parliament? You've seen how uncomfortable they are? Mm. They literally, they literally straddle each including other. Including the prime there, minister. Including the prime minister. Mm. I, I, I thought it was outrageous the first time I saw it. I still don't know why they are making themselves so uncomfortable. But what I'm saying is, if in comparison to a country like that, we have this much space. Mm -hmm. And, okay, if there is no, if there is no, all we need to do is add more chairs or something. I promise you all that... Not this so dramatic week is what Ghana is really all about. Now this is Ghana. I'm made in Ghana. I'm made in Ghana. I'm made in Ghana. I'm made in Ghana. You can take me to London. I'm made in Ghana. You can take me to Lagos. But I'm made in Ghana. After watching these videos and listening to all the wonderful stories from This Is Ghana, I really pray that God will give us leaders who have the heart of young Ghanaian entrepreneurs, right? Some say they are pro-fish, and so they promote the eating of fish. We thought when you're pro, then you wanted it preserved. But yes, it's better to eat more fish than anything else. Now, if you can feel this, my feet is warm. Thanks to warm their feet. I think young people are doing amazing stuff out there. And um, we really hope that our leaders will have us in mind and in whatever they do. That chamber, no? It won't add anything to our lives. We understand. It's time to go. And um, this week, the war against indiscipline, no? it will continue. I wish we don't catch more people because more people will be disciplined. Because no, but if you decide to do the discipline, you will need to. Thank you for watching Backpage. I'm Caleb. Good to see you.